In his first sit-down interview, the father of Kaylee Gonzalez speaking out after she was stabbed to death along with three of her roommates earlier this month. You can't imagine sending your girl to college and then they come back and an urn. Gonzalez desperately hoping for some answers. More than two weeks later, still no suspects or murder weapon. I haven't earned the ability to, uh, to grieve the way that I, I want to grieve. I want to be able to have justice first. Police say the University of Idaho students were likely asleep when they were killed between 3 and 4 a.m. and that the first 911 call was made around noon. It's terrible, but it was fast. And uh, nobody suffered and nobody felt like, like that kind of pain. Two other roommates in the off-campus apartment survived on the ground floor, according to police, waking up several hours later, calling friends over when their roommates were unresponsive. This crime appears to be very focused and the person had a comfort level in the house. So what do you have to do if there's not an immediate connection? You have to go to sort of a wider circle. With the killer still on the loose, some students feeling on edge. It is disconcerting that there is somebody out there who's done such a horrible thing and they haven't been caught. The university has announced that security on campus will be stepped up for the rest of the semester. That includes a safe walk program. Mental health services and counseling are also available. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.